The Gulf region is no longer simply a source of wealth for global fund managers. Several countries are vying to become the financial hubs where those big deals are being made. Here to tell us more is Ahmed Al-Bahar, Managing Director at Gulf Custody Company. Now, governments across the Middle East are establishing free trade zones to make it easier for foreign investors to establish themselves locally. Can you tell me what is Kuwait doing to attract those businesses? Kuwait introduced the foreign investors laws allowing foreign investors to establish their own uh, uh, companies in Kuwait with 100% ownership in Kuwaiti companies. Also Kuwait allowed foreign banks to work freely in Kuwait. What makes Kuwait such an attractive financial hub? Kuwait is to me the financial hub in the region because Kuwait have the local talent. The Kuwaitis have the investment appetite that can drive the GCC. What type of local and foreign investments is in demand among your clients? From our experience, real estate is a big thing. Local and regional equities, especially for the big companies in, in the region, private equities, these are the most attractive instruments in the regional market. Is there a distinction between types of investments a native Gulf financier would invest in versus a foreigner? Mostly the foreigners are looking for the big chip companies, let's say the top 10 companies in each market. The local investor, he looks at mostly the whole market as speculate, uh, speculation and diversifying between his portfolio between startups and uh, established companies. What sort of startups are they looking into? Small companies that with the small capitals just traded in the stock exchange to speculate on the future of these companies. What does a diversified portfolio among your clientele usually represent? What we see is mostly time deposits, murabaha transactions, bonds, plus equities. Now, as the Gulf region builds its reputation as a financial hub, have you seen more startups taking root? And if you have, what types of startups are attracted to Kuwait and who's running them? We look at investment companies in Kuwait, which are the leaders, for example, Global Investment House, uh, Camific, Shaya Group, which are big in retail and uh, food industry, leaders in the market and in the region also. What do your startup clients' investment portfolios usually consist of? It consists from real estate, equities, uh, private equities, uh, depends on the BPM of the investment fund. We have no control of our startup portfolio. I mean, investment funds comes with its own BPM. After the approval of the regulatory bodies, they choose the, the allocation of that uh, portfolio. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you very much for the interview.